All right, welcome back, boys and girls. Let's do this again. Let me show you what we had uh, when we left from the last video. And this was our screen two. So let's just get started. Radar screen. One thing I want to show you on this is how to copy the entire window. and move it. It's going to look a little odd at first and it kind of, once you move it, it kind of snaps too. Boom. And it has all our information from the other screen. We can go back to the other screen and say, eh, I don't really want it here anymore. We're going to work with that more as we go. Probably do a little bit of uh, radar screen on almost every video in this series. Because it's just that helpful. But we need something new there. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's do a level two. Now it's after hours, so generally speaking, my account's not enabled for this data. I say generally speaking because I think it can get like OTC or something. I don't remember. I'm going to put this in the middle and it's pretty much like your E-Trade level 2 and if you uh, are not familiar with that or any other it's just going to give you uh, the current demand at multiple price levels and wherever the most demand is that's what controls this wonderful game of tug of war I will get more into that in the future as well right now just know it's one of the many tools at your disposal that we could put in this particular area Alright, but let's keep it moving. So, we actually had a really cool market today. I mean, it wasn't all that tricky at all, in my opinion. The moves were clean. They were not always obvious, but, you know, we had like, um, let me see. One of the ones I messed with a lot was Pola. And here you can see, I mean, you are already up pretty big throughout the day. It didn't even need to do all this, but it sure did. And so they were calling me a pola dancer because that was my mark right there, new high a day. With increasing volume. And it had already ignored the 50 a couple of times on the RSI. So here we have it. Not crashing, not crashing. Mm, still stood away from it. Still, st I mean, it was just... And then the moment did, I was no longer interested. So, I mean, you had a good good run there from let's let's call it three to oh what 350 I mean who wouldn't like that but just one of the many plays a person can work on in this kind of market what I want to do though is get you more comfortable that's one of my biggest things it's just one of the three C's and I'll talk about all those later but comfortable and confident are two of them and one way we can do that is just to continue to show you all the multiple tools at your disposal. The second screen that we had worked on also shows how the market went today. Pull on the top there on the left, you had 23 stocks that looks like were above 25% gains. Probably maybe one trailing behind that even. Nope, VXRT coming in at 22 same on the downside you can see how much heat was on the downside today it wasn't all that terrible nothing too unusual only one stock with over 22 million in volume and a high number of trades also under a dollar so that's not always saying a lot the more under a dollar you get the more volume is needed and that's another thing to talk about in all of this so we need another tool we got room here. What are we going to do? Or heck, let's just make another tab. Let's do a uh, save as. So you can see how that's done. I mean, it's pretty much like anything else. Uh, an Excel spreadsheet or you name it. And we're going to put YouTube 3. 
third tab we've made on this series. Yeah, let's replace it. Why not? And we need info. We need confidence. Okay. So I don't know about you, trading small caps there isn't a lot that gives you a lot of confidence. But one thing that can help obviously is news. Let's do that real quick here. I'm going to put all headlines. Okay. And the other one will come into play. It'll just drop itself in once we select this blue and click on a stock. Let's go back to Pola. So how is news going to give us confidence? Well, it's all about keywords. It's all about what's hot, whether that's a sector or a specific play. Um, we've had it all in the small cap land. We've had, um, you know, CBD stocks, marijuana stocks. We've had, um, you know, obviously right now the COVID-19 scares and biotechs saying that they, anything from making drugs to making products that contain, um, uh, compositions that um, fight off viral and bacteria um, viruses and bacteria rather so you need to know what those keywords are that's one thing that's due diligence something you're gonna have to find but also it's gonna show itself I mean if you pay attention to the market this week you're gonna have usually a fairly good idea of what's gonna go on next week or excuse me what could potentially go on next week as long as there's a trend. Now, let's change some of the features here because that's basically what this video is about. It is it's about using TradeStation. And uh, we'll start with, and we'll go to news filters. Um, let's just make it all a white background with the font being shoot dark blue okay and I totally could have done that all at once but hey um, settings window let's go to headlines the font white background blue font white background And yeah, have hot news be the opposite. All right, okay, there we go. All right, confidence, I said, huh? Well, on this one, didn't have a whole lot of it. So today is the 30th. Uh, another little trick they're not going to tell you a lot of times is very much like a website. If you couldn't find it, let's just scroll it out of the way. You can hit control F. It does bring up a dialogue. You can then put in the ticker you're looking for, in this case Pola. You can hit enter and there we go. So that feature is there as well. And this is just telling, hey, it's up a lot pre-market after being up 9% on Monday. Isn't really giving us the news that we're looking for. Same with this one. Uh, there you go. Shares jump 100% now after jumping 9 on Monday. Still not telling us anything. However, if you look carefully, there is one other little clue here, and that is that it's not alone. Blink charging polar power. Looks like we got a sector move. Energy. Interesting. Let's keep going. Solar International, and there's others. I may go right over them sometimes, even Opto Electronics. That's visual. So, and Micron, interesting. Micron just had that's pretty much your sector leader for uh, I don't know, uh, it's how you classify things, too. This gets a little fishy, but when you're doing options, which is another story I know. But when you're doing options, MU is a big one. People are always watching its earnings. It's usually pretty good. Okay. Still not a lot of confidence though, right? I mean, we know we have a kind of a sector move and we know that we could 
make our radar screen have a tech page, right? Let's just call it, for now, let's just call it tech, even though it could be energy or it could be just charging, wireless charging for 5G coming up, right? All these things are things you're thinking about. You're almost thinking about news as much as you are actual stock movement. So it you got to know both. So we're going to go PO LA because it was busy today. Um, we're going to do the other one, which was busy, but it's warrants moved more than it did. But we're just going to go BL and K. Okay. Right. Just clean this up a little bit here. I don't usually use the net change. I don't use the bid, ask, high, or the low. But I do love me some volume. All right. And we're going to throw an MU because we noticed it. Oh, interesting. All three are green. Still, I want you to have more confidence. And one of the things that's going to help you do that as well, it may not be confidence that, hey, this thing's breaking out. I know why and I'm getting in. But it may be confidence as in, okay, it's the I know why part. It's not just I know why. I've seen it do it before. We can go to charts. Wow, I haven't seen it do that before. Interesting. What would make a company go from two to five? Well, I should have been messing with this more after hours, apparently. But anyway, um, another tool that we're going to use and it's not just two to five stocks, it's it's any move really. Does it make sense? That's what you need to ask yourself. <clears throat> now, there's multiple ways to go about doing what I want to do next. We can do a scanner, which is definitely something we're going to have to get into. Or, in this video, we're just going to tap on research. And this has always been a big deal to me. Again, growing up in the, the whole Timothy Sykes realm, videos on everything from red flags in SEC uh, reports to floats and how to establish whether something is a, a very low float, almost dangerously low. And sure enough, if you look on POLA, that's exactly what you're dealing with we have a float of 3.87 million. Now, let's be clear for a second. Um, it's worded often differently. I'm going to put it to you the way I've just gone about knowing, hey, the lower this number is, the fewer shares are in rotation, meaning that are free to be bought up. And so if you have a market cap that's already low, as this one does, then you have a super low float and then your volume on the day is greater than both of them well then that means that float rotated multiple times shares were thrown around and not a single share was really wasted they're either being held you know so that means they were purchased and, and held um, or they were previously short and held however you want to look at that bought or sold but with a float of just 3.87 that's going to make this thing really move anytime there's a big story. And that's exactly what we had today for POLA. And the fact that it was a, 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 you know, a move based on multiple stocks within a similar sector, you're going to get, you're going to get all the reasons you need to feel a little more comfortable at least. Especially the more that you see this, if I first saw it on China stocks where we had CCCL, CCCR, um, XNet, CNet, um, it was it NCTY, which actually is still one that moves a lot. Um, and in the future, I will also show you how we can hop on different websites to really see who moves with who based on sector movements. That's going to give you more confidence. So, 
if we go to the capitalization, it breaks it down a little bit more. Oh, excuse me. So your full market cap shares out current, okay, and then the float. So all are just dangerously low in this case. And the fact that it moved as smoothly as it did is kind of amazing, really. Now, when you look at on a five-minute chart, it just looks crazy. But on this one-minute chart, every time you had a new high of day, let's say, okay, let's call that a new high day breakout and a test of, and it really didn't get to that level. See what I'm saying? It left you green. If you got in exactly at that high, previous high of day, you weren't. You were sweating a little bit, maybe, but you, you weren't in the red. Now, that left you a lot of room. Again, as, as I've mentioned before, um, say you take it right here. That candle went past it, and then the next candle, of course, came down and made that person sweat a little bit. right? But if you look all the way down at the RSI and the fact that you're above the, f the 50 the whole time, Okay, and the fact you have not just greater than average volume, but you're talking mathematically probably double the first blue candle there, and then double again the second. You've just done a massive increase in volume. Of course you did. You were at the perfect point for a breakout, right? So now the only reason to be scared at this point would be if you have a close. It's all about the closes of the candles, to be honest. And again, this is just my opinion. This is how I look at things. Um, but not crossing that 50 to the downside until about right here. That's when I'm starting looking for a way out. And there's just multiple options of doing that, of course. You know, whether you have a trailing stop or stop loss. Or if you've already hit your take profit, if you think about that as well. If that was the $3 line and you're already at 330 well, you just got your 10%. Now, are you looking for more than that? Okay, cool. Um, you got to know then if you're looking for more than that, you got to know what the downside is, not just the risk of that play, but what typically is going to happen on an ABCD breakout. You're going to have a test multiple most of the time. The fortunate part about this is it wasn't peaking. Now, peaking is something like you see over here and here and back here. Those are harder to read. You're going to have a slightly parabolic candle followed by a slightly down parabolic candle. Now you're going to have to draw trend lines for the most accurate. For the most accuracy, I'll just put it that way. Um, and mind you, I am started off as a Forex trader, went to ETFs and ETNs, went to small caps. So how I do things is very much based on everything from fibs to high a day, low a day, and what happens in between those two lines, no matter what I'm trading. Cryptos, Forex, stocks, it don't matter. What else can I add for you on this particular video? Let's take a look. We don't have a lot of time, but it's all here. And that's what I want you to know. It is all here. This is a fully fledged trading system capable of, of not only teaching you, but guiding you and making you feel more confident for every trade that you take. Um, time and sales goes with a lot of times at the level two. I put them side by side, so I'm not going to do it here. Um, looks like let's do one more trick, okay, before we leave. We're going to right click this again I know we just moved it over here we're gonna copy window we're gonna have faith and we're gonna close that I don't know if that's the best of ideas we're gonna click on the header here I don't want to clock in the click in the chart but I want some empty space somewhere let's see if I can't get it here and then we're gonna paste window it's gonna take a second alright we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this Right. 
because it wasn't really, you know, didn't have any data that we had to save. I'm going to put this back right where it was when we started. We're going to go over here because there's the most room. We're going to do app. We're going to do level two. I don't mess with the matrix, but I can show it to you guys. I find those to be annoying personally. They have them on trading view and I was like, I'm never using this thing. And yeah, I haven't since. All right. And the new thing we're going to show you before heading out. So see, I don't know if it was in this video, but I've mentioned before, you may not have this data enabled for after hours, but you will, generally speaking, have the time in sales, which is both of It's just line by line. And this is what traders have been trading with for so long that, shoot, I wouldn't even be able to speak on it like they can. Um, I know some guys that uh, use it specifically um, for options and don't use much else, strangely enough. And somehow they survive. So there is a way to do it. Uh, that's one of the things, though, I'll have to, uh, you know, say I can't really help with. Um, here you have everything, though. You have your, um, a lot of things won't show up on typical level two even. So while all the red ones will be on the, um, one side and all the green ones will be on the other, a lot of times the white ones won't show up. I know in E-Trades it doesn't show up. Now there may be a setting where you can change that. Um, but we're looking good. And again, if you have any questions, drop them below. Please, I am here to help. I code all day, every day, even on the weekends. So I'm constantly doing something with trading. So I don't mind answering any questions at any point in time, if I can. Uh, I will also, next video, be going more over plays because I have to. What I want to do is I want to show you code, my version of code, the easy language that TradeStation uses to start showing you strategies and why those strategies can work and why what I say is not just a, a educated guess even it has been tested over time markets always change so the algos can change too we can tweak them no problem if something's working better than something else we can just um, put a couple marks in front of that code it, it greens it out and the computer won't even read that so let's say right now is a terrible time to short in pre-market and really it is well then I just go ahead and go to my pre-market plays and I put a couple marks in front of them and the algo doesn't even do that anymore you know so that's what I want to do I want to be able to because I don't like talking without references I don't like to be able to you know half of what you see on Facebook is is just a lie or a meme you know that somebody made up and that's not what this is you need to understand that this has got to be based on as much fact as you can put into it so that at the end of the day you're risking your hard-earned money to make more how can you do that if you don't have enough facts behind you so thank you for watching I hope you got something out of it as we move forward there will certainly be uh, more information really it's gonna start being odd because I'm gonna have to answer questions for the people that didn't watch this or the previous video so you know I'm gonna be patient of course and we're gonna just get through it and then we're gonna go over plays one by one um, the most typical are gonna be that the high a day breakouts your ABCD pattern like that um, I may throw in a Fibonacci once in a while a lot of traders that trade small caps are like fib what and that's uh, just my forex background we may also do dip buys. So let, let's say a high a day breakout on a stock that's green on the day. Let's say a dip buy that's on a stock that's green on the day. Then let's say about two red plays as well. So a stock that's red on the day, we may have um, pops that we want to short. And we may have um, low of day breakout 
break downs um, to short as well. I hope that makes sense. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Subscribe and like if you, well, liked it.